Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to play Blue Dragon on hard mode on the Xbox 360. Uh, last time, we tried to finish up the hospital and got clobbered by the boss because I went through the door faster than I meant to before I had a chance to rearrange my skills and whatnot. And now we're going to go ahead and have our skills rearranged and try this again. So we're going to be able to beat his ass. Alright, uh, for skills, we want Shu to have his regular lowdown steel, absorb HPs, and so he doesn't have anything better to get. None of the assassin skills are really worth it at the moment, except for steel. So that's pretty much what you want. I mean, you could have something like security on there, but he's not going to try to steal off me anyways. So just stay on the, uh, just stay on the, um, Swordmaster class, and because the Assassin class has a slightly, I believe it has slightly lower magic defense, and you probably want more defense, uh, more defense for this fight than not defense. Plus, his uh, attack isn't as good, so just actually, I think it's actually the same. So never mind. I guess you could go either one, but then again, Assassin has a more worthless base skill, which is uh, security. So I'd just stay with Swordmaster. Uh, for M Jiro, put it back on barrier magic so he has access to barriers. And that way we can reduce some of the damage. And give him skill plus two if you have it. So you can have black magic, white magic, and most importantly, the enhanced item effect. It doesn't matter who has it, as long as either uh, Jiro or Kluke has it, then you're, you're good to go. So everyone's got some good skills. Uh, for equipment, it's pretty much just... Uh, well, the best you got on whoever needs it. I'm gonna have a uh, Kluke probably do be doing most of the magical attacking. So that's why she's gonna get the uh, magic crystal ring. Uh, notice how it says absorbs physical attacks inflicted on the wearer. Um, it doesn't seem to absorb a whole lot of the damage. Like uh, I tested it out, and I think it absorbs something like 12 hit points of damage or something. And the rest of the attack went through. And also, it doesn't work on a lot of like. Uh, it doesn't work on like like the fire claw that the boss used last time. It didn't work on that, so it's gonna be pretty much useless on the fight. So we're not even gonna really need it. But just put the highest stuff you got on there, and yeah, you should be good to go. Just make sure a uh, shoe has some good defenses. So there we go. Yep, we'll be good to go. And let's see if we can't actually uh, clobber this guy now. Sure, why not? Let's watch the little scene again. It only takes about a second. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Sure, why not? It's kinda... It's kinda screwy that they give the option to help. You say no, and it's like, well, too bad. It's not gonna... It's not gonna make a difference either way. Oh, well. Alright, so this guy, like we saw last time, he's going to change his element to either uh, fire or ice or whatever, and you got to hit him with the opposite element to do more damage. Um, I tested it out, and the elemental spell, like fire or water, does slightly more damage by like 30 or 40 points to the boss than the shine spell, but I'd rather just stick to the shine spell since we, well, we know it works on both forms, we don't got to guess at what form he's in. You know what? Let's try to steal from him real quick. If I can get the silver ring, awesome. If I get the shadow pistol, oh well. Alright, uh, first things first. We're just trying to keep Shu alive on this turn. So, let's see, let's heal you up. We probably don't need to heal him too much. And the reason why you want somebody with a uh, boost item effect is because remember that, remember that uh, ancient fossil that we stole from the the Pangoian Diner Room, uh, what it does is if you put it on somebody without the boost item effect, it'll reduce damage taken by 25%. So it's basically a slightly stronger version of the shield spell. Uh, if someone does have the enhanced item effect, it'll be up to 35%. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, the Vitality Elixir, it'll restore your HP throughout battle, but it doesn't restore very much, so don't even bother. Uh, without, the, without the item effect up, it restores like 3 HP at the turn, with it, it restores like 4, so yeah, it's kind of screwy, don't even bother with it, just 
use the Ancient Fossil if you got it. If not, then just use a fully charged up uh, shield spell for 20%. But since we have it, we're going to go ahead and put it on Chew. See if it's damage by 35%. And that'll make our life a lot easier. So it's going to Yeah, you know, yeah. Now we can survive more than one hit. Uh, let's see, he is in his fire form right now, right? So you know what? Uh, actually, I don't remember, so let's just make sure. Shine his ass to death. Yeah, good enough. Okay, yeah, now he's back in the form. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's see how much damage we do with... Fire and versus like a uh, water. Let's switch our dog. We're close enough to it. And we're gonna survive somebody for it. And you, let's go for Watcher. And the next turn, let's see how much the shine. Let's see. Oh, I guess. Well, I guess they do a lot more than I thought they did. Okay, never mind. I guess I was wrong. I thought they did a little less, but I guess not. They heal up just a little bit. Oh, that's probably what it was. I tested it with water, not fire. Fire's got a much higher uh, base power than uh, water, I think it is. Oh, well. Either way, any of your... Uh, any of, this, any of the spells that he's weak to will do more than enough damage to take him out, so let's try a Shine spell here. It's a real shame that he's immune to damn near all status effects, just like all the bosses. But there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Alright, and go ahead and heal me up. Actually, you know what? You can just heal himself the whole thing. You know what? That's fine. So honestly, the magic attacks are a lot more than choose a uh, sword spell. And okay, that did about 90 less than the uh, flare spell, so not that much of a difference. It did more than it did more than uh, the water spell. Then again, I just realized. Uh, Luke has the silver ring on for higher, higher damage anyways. Oh well. You are supposed to get your turn yet, you fucker. Oh well. Either way, see, the fight's a lot easier now that we're actually prepared, and we did it. Start the battle with like half our HP. So makes our life much easier. And let's see, I want to heal myself. And crap, I lost my uh I lost my barrier now, didn't I? Yeah, fuck. You know what? Let's just get a Jiro and Coop back to the back row. Don't worry about re buffing the laser, I guess. Or not. There we go. Try to keep her alive long enough to put her in the back row this time. That'd be nice. How about you don't attack my weakest character? Please attack shoot. You son of a little bastardizing fuck. And you know what? We're probably not gonna survive that, so let's heal up again. You weren't supposed to get that turn, by the way, that's why I'm fucking right now. Unfortunately, the enhanced item effect doesn't seem to work on a Phoenix Talon. It seems to just bring him back with roughly the same amount of HP, as far as I can tell. Alright, good. Do I have a chance to get myself? Yes, I do. Alright, and now we should be able to finish him off relatively easily. It's a shame I lost my 35% damage, but oh well, we'll live. And you know what? Let's uh, just shine your ass today. So not really too hard, you just gotta 
just gotta keep up on healing. Pretty much she was just gonna be the weak leak right now, so just make sure he does his own healing and we'll be good to go. But what do you know? Nice and easy like. A lot tougher than he was on normal, I'll give him that. There we go. Nice, good stuff. What do we got? Barrier Magical 2, but we don't have any Barrier Magic spells, so that kind of screwy. But we'll live. Are you okay? We're opening it for you! Hey, who said we were offering it? What? What is this hand? It's a handshake. It means, let's be friends. It's how we greet one another. The Devi don't do anything like that? We Devi's dance! Dance? Yes! The Devi Dance of Friendship! Uh huh? Uh huh? So, what's your name? Marumaro! Tell me, Marumaro. Why do you have to shout so loud all the time? Maro don't know! So you can use magic too. Did you swallow a light sphere? Are you one of Nene's comrades? Uh, Maro would never be friends with a guy like him! Never! 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 <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry I said that. I apologize. Stop shouting already! Well, you don't talk that differently either, Shu. Marumaro, tell me about that machine. You didn't build that yourself, did you? Oh, almost forgot. No time to play with you. Maro here to find medicine. Medicine? What kind? Don't follow. Gotta find medicine now, or Mommy and all villagers are gonna die. Oh, come on. We can't just walk away from something like this. We'll help you search for it, okay? That's right. It's better than searching alone, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Whatever. Join. Well, Maru Maru is certainly a rather loud fellow, if I do say so myself. Is there anything to search in here? There probably is. Sure, there is actually. This treasure chest. What do you know? Let's see what we can get out of here. And you know what? I want to put a. Ooh, medals. I want to put somebody back on generalist so we can get our nothing glasses back on. So let's uh, see who needs it. We got ten and okay, Kluke. Actually, you guys are both going back to generalist right now. We'll, we'll worry about we'll worry about you guys uh not being generalist later, I guess. All right, let's uh put on your skill plus two. There we go. White magic and. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, fairy magic. There we go. That works. Alright. And I forgot to put on the damn nothing glasses. Oh well. Alright, let's see what's, uh, hidden in this big room. I don't think there's a whole lot in here. Nope, it doesn't look like there is. Can we even search this? Yes, we can. Magic crystal bracelet, that's nice. Let's give that to Jiro. Actually, no, that's a defense, isn't it? So let's give that to uh, Shu, actually. Oh, it's attack, never mind. I'll remember eventually what the damn things do. Ooh, but uh, it absorbs HP. I don't know if that stacks with, uh, with, uh, well, this, well, the, uh, the ability that does that. I don't know if that stacks. It might, but it probably doesn't. By the way, the absorb HP ability that we have, it, uh, like on the like on 76 points of damage that we like did to the boss or whatever, it would probably absorb something like uh, 19 or 20 damage. So not a whole lot, but a little a little a little more or less than a quarter, I guess. Ooh, SP, that's good. And Coop needs it, I think. 
And I probably didn't check the other two little slabs over there, did I? You know what? We'll get to it later. I can. I mean, we're, we're gonna be able to come back here. So it's not like you're gonna miss out on anything permanently. So yeah, we'll just, I'll come back there later off screen and check it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're right here. Let's just get it out of the way. Let's see. Come here. No? I guess I already checked you. I know one of these I didn't check. There we go. Nothing. There we go. Nothing. Else. And let's follow Mr. Maro Maro down this little hallway for his medicine for his people. He really is a loud little guy, isn't he? I guess he's trying to compensate for being so small. I don't know. Hey, we can't check we can't check the fire uh, alarm thingy, whatever you want to call the damn thing. Don't be so stubborn. You'll be in trouble if another monster pops up. Actually, he's got a pretty cool looking shadow thingy with his uh, saber tooth shadow. I like it. It's personally my second favorite shadow in the game. And see, we'll be able to work back, work back here later if we need to. There's not a whole lot in here that we actually need now, but we can get back here. But yeah, in case you, in case you haven't guessed, uh, Maro Maro is going to be joining our party reasonably soon, so... He's actually not that bad. I like him. I hope you guys like him, because he's going to be my little uh, running around character for a while. For some reason I like to run around as him instead of the others. Why? I don't know. This is it! The medicine is probably too old. Will it still work? He said it would! He said? Yeah! He said! Who is he? Not Nene, is it? Whoever! Does it matter? Hey, Maru Maru! Shu, just leave him alone. But he's acting weird. Well, I'm sure he's got his reasons. And what's wrong with him getting medicine to save his village? Hmm. Okay, being a uh, NPC, Maru Maru is not going to find that medicine all on his own. So, if you want to... If you want to find it, I do believe it's in this pot right here. But once you once you find it, uh, the cutscene starts and you end up having to uh, not be able to search everything in here. So let's search everything else first. Let's see. There's going to be a lot of nothing to crap in here, but some of it could be good. The vast majority of it, probably not. But it shouldn't take us too long to do it, you know what? We can do it all on screen. It won't take too long. Okay, all these one golds are mildly irritating, but okay, we can live with that, I guess. As long as we get that ten in there every once in a while. I know there's a couple medals in here, but other than that, I don't think there's a, really a whole lot in here. Nothing. Maynard is in here for the damn uh, medicine for Maromaro's village. Nope, not that one. That one, there you go. Okay, enough with the one gold it's ready to do. I don't think these little capsules have anything in them if, uh, if it's not the one with the medicine, I guess. Yeah, maybe they don't have anything in it at all. And stop checking it. Check the other stuff that we haven't searched yet. There we go. Still won't be gone. Ooh, metals. There we go. Well, I guess there is stuff in there, just not the vast majority of them. something good. Give me anything good.
Not the damn kept going, Marmar. We'll be hearing more of you later. Just get out of my way right now. There we go. Is it already search over there? Oh, we did. I really wish there was a better mini-map system in this game because it's really irritating to not have a good one. Ooh, more medals. Here we go. I mean, even just a slightly better mini-map than what we got would make exploring, uh... Oh, I already searched this. Would make exploring, like, this hospital a lot easier and a lot more... Well... Cold. Less crappy. Cold. I mean, I've tried every button combination I can think of to get that little mini-map in the corner to uh, expand and be bigger, but... It... Nothing I've tried has worked, ever, so I don't think there is a way. If there is, I certainly don't know about it. Alright, did we get everything in here? No? Almost. I think this is the last little hallway that I've searched. Yeah, we got a, we got a few medals in here. Oh, more medals, there we go. See, I think we had like 37 at the start of the episode. And now we have 57. Okay, so 20 medals total, counting the the ones that were outside. So there's like six out there. All right, and let's go ahead and search this for the you, medicine. Monkey! This is the miracle medicine. With this, Moro can save everybody. <laughs> Moro, running out of time. Wait, Moro, Moro. <laughs> Okay, parking a uh, giant drill in the middle of your town is probably not the best, uh, not, don't go up there, probably not the best way to come home, at least that'd be my opinion. Can I get out of here? There we go. Nothing. You know what? I'll search all these rocks and stuff later. I don't think there's really a whole lot in there. So you know what? Let's just go uh, talk to people. Well, there goes our easy transportation for the rest of the game. You know what? Let's see what's in this treasure chest. Ooh, more medals. Man, they're tossing those things out left and right, aren't they? How you guys doing? Maro Maro, is this the medicine? Yup! Good! To the patients, quickly! Gotcha! And who might you be? Actually, we're from Talta Village, sir. We met up with Maru Maro and helped him look for the medicine. Is that so? I hear that Talta has suffered greatly because of the land shark. Yes. Everybody here talks normally except for Maru Maru. Yeah. What exactly happened to your village? And why was it so terrible that you needed an ancient medicine? You mean Maru Maru didn't tell you? Well, he was so desperate about saving everybody here, he really didn't tell us anything. Oh, I see. Join. Yeah, these guys are all 
a lot quieter than Maro Maro. Wonder why he's the only one that's to shout everywhere. Okay, so apparently everybody's sick, but nobody's gonna bother to tell me what they're sick with. And at least I seem to know a little bit about uh, Talta Village. Okay, I guess we can't open that. And we'll be able to open it later. Oh. Alright, let's see what everybody's actually sick with. Maybe they grew horns out of their head or something? I don't know. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> really can't say. All we know is it started three days ago. Suddenly, people were collapsing one by one. We have no idea what happened, but you can see the consequences. Have you seen these symptoms before? We haven't seen anything like it. The village doctor is at a loss. No wonder Marumaru was in panic. Yes. This is pretty bad. Is that the medicine Marumaru brought? Yes, I only hope it works. Marumaru? Medicine is making the condition worse. Oh no. Why? <coughs> Marumoro, you didn't get the wrong medicine by mistake, did you? There's no way! <coughs> he told Moro to find a jar with this insignia. He said it was miracle medicine! The sky! Uh, sky? What about the sky? The violet clouds are building up again! Join. That can't be good. And neither can the fact that the uh, Morrow Morrow's medicine didn't bother to work. Nothing. He sure has a, a lot of brothers and sisters. I'm not going to talk to everybody, there's way too much to, way too many people to talk to. Mm. Yeah, we'll worry about that altar later, we can't do anything with it right now, so just ignore it. I think. Shadow Crystal, those are always nice. I'll probably end up searching like all the, uh, all the searchable stuff off screen later. I don't think there's really a whole lot to worry about. Eh, let's see what's in here, though. Oh. Eh, not a whole lot. I think Maro Maro is supposed to be up here somewhere. Either that or he's outside. It's one of the two. Okay, we can't go that one. Let's try the other side. If he's not up here, then he's going to be outside. Yeah, I think he's outside, then screw it. Alright, let's head out there then. Item. Oh great, a 
medicine. Gonna put like a mega medicine in there or something. I was gonna say I get um, if you needed a miracle medicine, and we have one that like revives people. But then I realized I think that was a uh, infinite undiscovery. Hey, yeah, do we even need to heal up? No, not really. So we'll ignore you for now. Oh, what do you got? Well, these guys actually got some good stuff here. So let's uh. Oh, I guess he's not gonna sell me anything yet. Okay. Well, well. Eventually, they're gonna have some really good stuff for us to get. Primarily new spells. But I guess they don't want to sell to us just yet. Nime. into this. His magic is stronger than ours. I know that. Hey, you! You lied! You told Moro a lie! Did it, you? Moro, Moro! Lead him to us! The three of us should attack him together. Got it. Suppose Nene was trying to do with that medicine. Even though 
the villagers were suffering, he was taking advantage of them. <gasps> Wow, Nenny's a real bastard. He makes us sick and then makes Maro Maro go search for medicine that doesn't do shit for the villagers, but possibly does something for him. Yeah, he's a real piece of work. But, enough about Nenny, let's go try to find Maro Maro here. He's, let's see, he's up here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Nope, not this one. Where are you? Um, you know what? Maybe it was up there. We'll be able to open that locked treasure chest and a couple of the other locked treasure chests later. Just not right now. Let's see. Where the heck do we go to? Oh, here it is. I know it's up here somewhere. Um, oh, there it is. I was just looking at the wrong side. And is this our warp device? I do believe it is. We can backtrack to the uh, sheep tribe eventually, though we're not too worried about it right now, so just don't even worry about it. And Maru should be up here somewhere. Let's see, is the accessory shop going to sell me anything yet? It's mainly just, uh, I think this place has like silver equipment. I think. Yeah, yeah, silver equipment. Uh, let's see. Let's put our negotiates on. So we get a nice little discount. Alright, two of those. Two of those. And well, pretty much two of everything, actually, now that I think about it. Look at that discount. Beautiful. I love it. I'll equip everything later. But we still gotta find Maro Maro in the other shops. And I forget exactly where they're located. Let's see, let's keep on going over here. Ooh, the item shop. I don't think this has too much that I'm worried about. Once we get to the spell shop though, that'll have the goods. Yeah, yeah, pretty much the uh, the basics. I'll stock up on this junk later. And is this going to be the spell shop up here? Uh, I think it might. Or not. Let's see, where is our spell shop then? Nothing. Not you. Metal. See, that's the way to Maro Maro up there, I think. But where is the spell shop? Okay, so ignore that. You know what, let's try to find the spell shop real fast. Item shop. That's another hermit, I guess. Sure are a lot of hermits in this town. And then again, everybody is kind of sick, so that probably helps. Alright, spell shop, where are you? Yeah, if I can't find it today, we'll find it later. It's in the town somewhere, just... I forget where. Not in here. Where is the damn thing? Actually, is it in there? I don't think it is, but... Hey, let's check. Why not? See, this is where having a map would be useful. You could check your map, they'd be like, Oh, look, there's a spell shop right there. There you go. But no, they decided they want to 
screw you over by not having a good map. So you're just the innkeeper, and there wasn't anything useful up here, was there? At least not that I remember. Nope. Oh well, I guess we'll find the spell shop later then. You're not the one with them, are you? Okay, there we go. I guess he is down here. Alright, so this is the good stuff right here. We get Cure Kelvon, which cures Kelvon status. We get Regenerate, which, uh, well, regenerates your HP a little bit over time in battle. Uh, I'm not sure how good it is, because I never really use it too much on normal, but eh, maybe it'll be better this time. And now we get Ground and Shadow, our next uh, level 2 black magic spells. They're very good spells. Uh, ground uh, hits all enemies on, on the screen, as long as they're not flying. So it's pretty damn good. And Shadow has the strongest uh, base uh, damage of any element. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what else we got. We got Sleep, put enemies to sleep. Those are always good. Quick, which uh, makes us faster. Very nice. Shell, magic defense. Trap 4. Um, I can never get the damn thing to work whenever I tried it. It's supposed to do damage to enemies when they physically attack you. But I can never get the damn thing to work. Maybe I was doing something wrong. Maybe it doesn't like me. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can get it to work now. But now we got a ton of new spells, so that makes me happy. And let's go find Maru Maru and get this over with. Yeah, we finally got some really good spells. Shadow, beautiful damage. Ground, hits everybody instead of just a row, and you don't gotta even charge it up, even though you could for more damage. Regenerate. Not sure how well that is, but Shell, that'll be very nice for magical damage reduction. Quick's very nice, because that means you have much better speed. So finally got some good stuff. And Mr. Morrow, you should be up here somewhere, right? More medals. I think Morrow's to the left. Maro Mini. Nice name, kid. Yeah, I think Maro Maro's up here. Or maybe he's the other side. Alright, there's another locked treasure chest. Oh, there's Maro. Okay. You shouldn't say people are gonna die. Don't decide we're all giving up. I won't give up. There's still a way to save everybody. If you have the time to whine, you have the time to try to save them. Everyone's fighting for their lives, and they need your help. So don't give up. Shu's right about that, Maru Maru. We can use magic. We'll try healing magic. And if that doesn't work, we'll go back to those ruins and try some other medicine. Okay? Maru Maru? Huh? I remember seeing these symptoms before. You have? My dad examined some people who had a rash just like this. The color and the way it spreads were the same. They said they touched a poisonous flower in the forest. He gave them an infusion from the leaf of this flower, and the poison went away. So we just look for that leaf then. Where is it, Luke? Where do we find it? I'm sorry. I don't know where. Oh, man! Well, what do you expect? I mean, I was just a little girl back then. I saw that plant in the forest of the dead, south of here. In the marshes in the deepest part of the forest, all over the paths. Maru Maru, let's go find it together. Okay.
And with that, Maru Maru has joined our party. Very nice. I love this Maru little guy. Maru was he out is, hunting uh... when the sickness came upon our village. <laughs> He has a kind of annoying voice, and some people don't like it, but I like him. I don't know. Three days ago, a fog seeped into the village. It was violent, just like the cloud we saw. Whoever touched the fog got sick. Mara heard that Mommy and Daddy had collapsed and went back to the village. Got back and didn't know what happened. And all Mara could think was to get food that would give them strength. So Mara left the village again. Then he appeared in front of Moro. He said that a secret elixir in an ancient underground hospital would save the village. There was no choice. To save Mommy and Daddy and everyone else, Moro had to swallow the light. So now Moro has this weird shadow and magic and can use the magic to operate the machine. But then... All lies! He just wanted that medicine for himself! That's really strange. What is? If Nenny knew where it was, then why didn't he just go and get it himself? Join. That is kind of weird. I mean, none of the monsters in that cave would have given him any trouble whatsoever. So, I don't know why. Or the hospital, I mean. So I don't know why he just didn't go grab it himself. And it's kind of funny. Uh, Maro Maro, every time we mentioned Nene's name to him in the uh, hospital... He told us that he didn't want to be affiliated with them, but in here they make it seem like he doesn't know Nenny's bad or really bad, anyways. Until uh, well, until now. So I don't know. Maybe they just oversighted it. Item. Ooh, Grand Shadow Crystal. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and search the uh, town for nothings and items hidden in the rocks and stuff and then next time we're gonna go ahead and check out Maro's stats and class and go try to find the leaf to save his village so guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time you guys have a good night